guys, so we're clearly in my bathroom right now, and the next step that I take, um, or I guess the first step that I take, um, in preparing my hair for a silk press is detangling, and I find that detangling, um, just helps me get a better wash, um, and a better, um, obviously condition, it really helps everything, like, simulate my roots so there's no tangles, and everything is, like, equally, I guess, washed and conditioned, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, if that makes any sense, so, I'm just using this detangling brush, um, I forgot the name of it, but, yeah, it just, like, it really works, it really helps get in there. And like this is like disgusting. Obviously, my edges are insanity, and they're so like, ugh. So it's definitely time for a wash. So I make sure I get in the middle because my middle, the middle of my head is extremely um, thick. It's much thicker than the rest of my head for some reason. I don't know why. So I like to make sure I really get those tangles out kinks out and I'm really kind of just getting everything nice and prepped for a wash. So once everything is brushed out and detangled to my liking, um, it's kind of time to prep for wash. And first things first, um, I like to oil my scalp before I wash my hair. I don't know, it kind of just gets my scalp stimulated, um, feeding it, and I put a lot of heat in my hair, so I kind of wanted to remind my hair that I do love it, and I kind of want to give it some food before I wash it and condition it, and just put it through this whole process. So, I kind of just go through and massage it. It feels so good. And I use this Aunt Jackie's um, grapeseed and avocado oil, and it like is amazing. It feels so good. These three items are essential to achieving the perfect silk press, in my opinion. And they're the cheap products. So first, I go in with the Infra Shampoo. So you can see it. And then after the Infra Shampoo, I go in with the Infra Treatment. And then lastly, you'll see after I blow out my hair and all that good stuff, the Silk Infusion finishes it off. This is vital to the process. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit why when we get there. So my hair is washed. I didn't record that because there's literally no point and yeah so <laughs> this is my hair. Um, the shrinkage is real but you know gotta love it in its natural state. This is the conditioning stage so I'm just going to take my handy dandy comb and I'm going to split my head into two spots, I mean two parts horizontally, and then just go through and apply my conditioner. Yeah, so I just grab some conditioner and just go through. Make sure you are focusing on the roots all the way down to the ends because you don't want to be showing one part of your hair love and not the other we want to love our hair equally so I just make sure that I am equally distributing the conditioner as well as I can throughout the hair and this is also important when you're applying heat you want to keep your hair moistened and conditioned and all that good stuff just so it doesn't like die on you Okay. Now that part has enough, I kind of want to go through again and lightly um, detangle 
And this also helps with spreading the um, conditioner throughout your hair. So this isn't just a step that I take. You don't have to take this step, but I just I prefer to take this step. Now the top obviously is a little wider, so I'm gonna split that in two down the middle so that I can, you know, get every bit with conditioner. Cause I feel like conditioning is so important, especially with natural hair. I have my in for treatment. Apply some, rub it in, and get in there, girl. Get in there and don't forget the edges. The edges, <laughs> those are our babies. We want to protect edges at all costs. Never neglect them. People may think I'm using <laughs> a lot of conditioner, but this is really, I feel like, this is a reasonable amount. Massage your scalp, of course, to get that in there. Uh, guys, <laughs> so good. If you've been to like a hair salon or something and they're putting like the conditioner or the shampoo in your hair and they are massaging your scalp, you know, you know that feeling. So, I want to start at my ends and work my way up. Start at my ends. Okay, it's a little crazy back here. Sorry if you hear my son in the background. He's going through, he's having a moment. We all have our moments in his. So, just so happens to be when I'm recording. To my next side, getting all in there. condition my hair I kind of just want to let it sit for a little bit um so my hair can eat it up my hair is actually drying out so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of water just to kind of bring it back to life on my hands and then kind of go in there just to activate the um, conditioner so it's not just sitting on top of my hair that it's actually getting in there I'll be back after I let it sit for a little bit and I wash it out satisfied with this blowout so um, my next and final step of the silk press um, process is obviously flat ironing it there there is another um, step I don't know if you guys ever heard of the silk wrap where after you are done flat ironing it and you wrap it you do put like a saran wrap around it I do do this sometimes but not all the time in this case I probably won't I'll probably just um, flat iron it 
and then wrap it up and put it in a scarf um, for the night because it's getting a little late and I don't feel like taking any extra steps that aren't completely necessary. So um, if you want, you can take that step. I'm not going to. I'm sorry if you guys want to see that, but not in this video at least. <laughs> So I'm just going to let my flat iron finish um, heating up and we will go from there. Okay guys, so all I do is section off my hair by rows horizontally. A little bit of rows so I can really, really get into there. Each row I apply the cheese silk infusion. I don't put a lot, I just put a little drop and I kind of just go through. To make sure it is nice and coated and I just run my flat iron through. down slowly so that it's like really really getting in there um like this I'll show you what I mean so as you see I kind of like go over my roots a few times like three times at max and then I just drag this down and then it kind of creates so I don't have to keep going over um the hair and you have like body you see it? I think I like about these are that they last so you don't have to keep applying heat to your hair um, you just have to take care of it by wrapping it and you know trying not to get it wet not adding too much product. Um, yeah, and it lasts. Every once in a while, I'll go through and kind of do like a little bump just to give it some body. Eventually, the bump will fall after I um, wrap it, but I do like a little bit of body. Not too much, but I don't want it like straight. Um, obviously, we want a little bit of something going on there. product and the heat like connecting with each other or whatever also I've, I've been going over like the middle part more than once but that's just because my roots are way thicker in the middle so they need a little bit more TLC than the rest of my head so if you see me passing through um, the middle just a little bit more it's because my roots are thicker and it's harder for them to get straight and I like them really straight I don't like to feel bumps or anything so I do kind of add a little bit more pressure to the middle, but that's just my personal preference. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I just don't mind adding a little bit extra heat. That's just me. But yeah, so if you were wondering why I kept going through um, the middle, just a little bit more than the rest of the head, um, that's why. So when you get to the top, typically you would pick, you know, what side you want your part. 
I usually just do a middle part when I'm first flat ironing it. And then when I wrap it in the morning, whatever I feel like doing, whatever, what, whatever look I'm doing, is just what I do. If that makes any sense at all. So, I'm just going to do a middle part, but sometimes I switch it up and do a side part. Um, but for the time being, right now, I'm doing a middle part. to your girl it helps me out a lot um and yeah i will see you guys in the next video and maybe maybe tomorrow i'll do an ending clip no promises but if i remember to i'll definitely show you guys like when i'm all done up how this looks and everything so yeah um thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video